Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Courtney Rada with Howcast Tech. So today, we got the Nest Cam. It's a smart home security camera with a streaming feed right to your mobile device. It's got motion sensors, night vision, notifications, two-way two -way communication, and a versatile mounting base. My finger slipped. It's supposed to separate? Oh, you just keep spinning it. Now, the cam itself is only a live monitor. If you wanted to record the feed so you could see what happened, say, the night before, you'd have to subscribe to its companion service called Nest Aware. This offers cloud-based storage along with a few other features allowing you to use the cam like a security camera. So what's in the box? Included is the Nest Cam, wall plate, three screws, a micro USB cable, power adapter, and the product documents. How do I use this thing? Opening your cam brings you to the live feed. Tap anywhere to access its controls. From here, you can adjust the picture and sound in settings using that gear icon in the upper right. Wait, is that backward? Upper right. If I do it with my left, can't you just highlight and post? Oh yeah. Okay, settings. Scroll down to video and open image quality. Oh, would you look at that. Here, you can set it between standard def at 360 or high def at 720 and 1080p. It also supports night vision. Set to auto by default, it'll turn on automatically in low light. Okay, with those settings all squared away, let's check out this interface. In the bottom left is the talk button. Let you talk here. And it comes out here. When the mic's activated, the cam chimes and its LED turns blue. If you want to draw less attention to the cam, you can turn the chime off in settings. In fact, here you can also turn off the cam's LED altogether, making it even more incognito. Next to the talk button is enhance. So, like with most touch screens, you can pinch to zoom your cam's feed. You can then set this as your capture frame by tapping enhance. So to view your history, open that button in the bottom right. In landscape view, it's all funky, so flip that business to portrait mode. Your history is organized into days by activity alerts. These are created when your cam senses either motion or sound, making it pretty easy to find whatever thing wasn't supposed to happen while you were away. Like, who ate my spring rolls on Friday? Do I look like I'm laughing? When your cam picks up motion or sound, it can send you notifications. If you want to ignore one or the other, you can change this in settings. You can also link your cam to Nest's home away feature. This will turn your cam on when set to away and you guessed it, turns it off when set to home. You can also put your cam on a schedule in settings. Turn it on to open the weekly sketch, then open whatever day you want and tap add time to set the day's schedule. Now the computer app has a few features not found in the mobile app, like making your live feed public. You can either embed it or create a URL to your live feed which anyone can access. So activity zones are selected areas of the frame that your cam can create activity alerts specifically for. So check it. If I only want notifications when something's moving down on the street and not in the windows, you could just zone it off. So with Nestaware, anything older than 10 or 30 days, depending on your plan, gets deleted. If you want to save any of that, you can create video clips or time lapses from your history. To watch your clips, click View Clips, obvi, and select your clip. From the viewing window, you can also share, download, or delete the video. All right, that is everything. If you want to win this bad boy, we're giving it away. Head over to our Facebook page to find out how to enter. Thanks everyone for watching. That was the Nest Cam, and if you want more how-tos on the latest gadgetry, go ahead and click subscribe. I'm Courtney Rada, and this has been Howcast Tech.